Hello everybody, uh, Mr. J here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on some of the uh, things and nuances of Spectre that maybe aren't covered in some of the in some of the, tutor the tutorials. If you press Shift and Scroll Wheel, you can affect the zoom in and out. If you press Control and do the Scroll Wheel, you can change the height. When you come to one of these zip lines, make sure you stop and then jump. If you press the Crouch button, at some point during the animation of ziplining, you can drop down as you see here. It's a pretty nifty way to get to this balcony ahead of time. You can indeed shoot out some of these lights. If this camera, if one of these cameras uh, see you, you get in a cone of vision. Um, without active camo on, the alarm will go off. What this does is it locks all the hack objectives for about 8 to 10 seconds and a little triangle will show up on the reaper screen letting them know what alarm was was uh, tripped you'll notice around the map there are these little terminals if you come up to these and press the hack button which by default is t i believe it's still t some of these things will change this one for instance turns off the lights on the second floor the reaper can come back to this and aim at this and hold t in order to unhack it uh, but it takes some time, and it also leaves the uh, Reaper vulnerable while he's doing that. You'll notice here, there's a hacking objective in this spot. And you'll notice that the walls are see-through. If you follow this little line on the floor, you'll notice that it if you hack this terminal, It makes the uh, the glass blurry so that the reapers can't see what you're doing in there. Doing that privacy glass terminal that I just showed you also makes blurs these this glass right here. With the default controls, if you'd like to do a wall flip, you simply run against the wall and hold shift, and he'll uh, automatically go into that wall flip. You can also jump and hold shift he'll do that. One of my favorite things to do when I'm getting out of trouble here is to do it off this to get down here pretty quick. You'll notice on some of the maps there are these terminals that say disable security. If you take a note at this camera it's on and it's moving and it's trying to find you sneaky specters. If you hack it it'll turn the cameras off. Typically usually uh, the cameras in the area will go off. You'll notice over here, this one obviously affects the level 1 lights. You'll see here on every map, there's usually a set of lasers like this in certain parts of the map. And they're spaced a little differently, meaning that if you want to run through and dive through these by pressing Q by default, you have to time it just right. In this case, I find here, hitting it about that point will, uh, will allow you to jump through without tripping the laser. You can also, obviously just shoot the lasers out and they'll uh, they'll stay off for a few seconds uh, an EMP grenade also does the same thing you'll notice I tripped it the alarms went off the objectives are locked for a few moments and I'm unable to hack coming into this objective room be on the lookout uh, in every area where there is an objective there is usually a place to uh, exit vertically Particularly in this map, there is a network of uh, rafting that the Spectre can climb up on and jump off onto an unsuspecting Reaper. On every map, there is a disc objective. You'll notice the HUD element right here. It looks like a disc. You simply walk up to it, press T. You'll notice that he puts the objective on his side, and you have to bring it to a drone on the map as shown. On headquarters, the disk delivery objective is up here. For now, this is likely to change. Uh, but the drone looks like this. You simply walk up to it, the animation starts, he places it in, and the drone disappears. Some objectives are locked by a an explosive charge. Walk up to it, press T to place the explosive, get away because it, uh, it hurts if you're too close. You'll notice here there's two. Uh, so you can open up one or both depending on your uh, the strategy you wish to employ. In order to win the objective, you have to hack it to 
you press T to get off the hack in case you need to and the uh, percentage remains. If the Spectre hacks this level 2 security door terminal it opens up these doors here which gives access for the Reaper and the Spectre to come into this room which gives the Spectre more escape routes and the Reapers more things to worry about. It also gives the Spectre the ability to climb up here and dis disable the security terminal right here on the second floor and it also gives them access to this vent to get uh, up above.